everybody. So I'm gonna start off by saying Happy New Year to everybody. I know I never said it officially, but better late than never. And as you can tell, I'm not in Montreal. I'm uh, in Alberta. I've come to Banff for a couple of days. But today specifically I came for sunrise at uh, Abraham Lake, which is known for the methane bubbles, but I don't see any of them right here, but I do see a lot of nice stuff to photograph, like these ice cracks that are pushed up from kind of just sticking out of the, the ground, just kind of pushing up. It makes nice shapes as a foreground with the peaks across. So I want to set up and take some pictures here at sunrise, but it's like super, super cold here. So I'm gonna set up quick, take some pictures and We'll see what we get. Hopefully, once the sun rises to my right, it's gonna project some nice light on the peaks across. Because this is a really good sunrise spot. So, hopefully, I'll get a nice picture here. Honestly, like, I feel like I came to Banff to kind of check it out in January to see what it's like. And the weather has been really, really cold. It's actually like minus 30 here. And with the windshield, I don't know, maybe like minus 40 or something. So frostbite can be an issue. So I'm wearing a lot of layers, but I'm pretty warm, but my face starting to freeze a little bit, but it's all ho hopefully worth it. So I'm gonna get set up and take some pictures here. I have a nice foreground here in mind, kind of like the textures in the snow drift and maybe some of the ice that's kind of pushing up through the snow it makes for a nice composition. But just right off the edge here, where I'm standing, I'm like on a higher platform, where the where the ice drops on the uh, on the other end. So it's kind of pushed up. So it's kind of a two-level thing. So it's kind of a weird place to position my camera for for a composition. But I think I can uh, I can make it work somehow. There's a lot of options here to photograph. You know, definitely for sure. Yeah. Let me get set up before the sunrise and I miss satellite. So I got a, a nice composition here, so I'm just gonna kind of wait for the light, see what, what it does at sunrise. I know the sun is rising to my right behind me across the whole peaks there. So hopefully she gets some nice light on the peaks. And just taking a few shots here, test shots, see what it's like. I got my composition set up here and I'm just waiting to see what the light does. Hopefully it's gonna be a, a nice sunrise. I really like the composition, got nice snow drift here, kinda going leading my eye towards the peaks in the distance over there. And what's nice about it is that it's like natural, it's not uh, you know been uh, damaged by human intervention, which is pretty much the case to my left there. Pretty much everything has been uh, sweeped, uh, kind of stepped in. So this is the only thing I can find kind of natural looking and just just kind of how I like it. So I got my composition set up. I only think I'm gonna do like one composition here because it is kind of really, really cold and the conditions are a bit challenging for, for photography. I just don't wanna leave here without a picture from this place because I came all the way did like a two hour drive this morning and despite being like minus 30 and with the windshield probably it feels like minus 40 I don't want to leave without a picture so I'm gonna gonna get the shot that I want the car is not that far it's actually right over there on the ridge so my nephew is right there is there right now and keeping the car warm he didn't want to <laughs> go out of the car and brace the conditions I don't blame him you know it's kind of crazy but I think it's gonna be a really nice picture to kind of add to my collection. So, just gonna wait for the light and see what happens here. Take a few shots when the light is more ideal. I think we'll see. This is kind of a, a good uh, sunrise spot, so should be should be good. I hope. And the weather is really nice and clear, so we should get some some sunlight for sure. It's gonna be like my first shoot of 2020. Kinda excited about it in such an amazing place. And uh, 
first video of 2020, you know. And uh, speaking of 2020, I do have a lot of stuff planned for this year that I'm excited about. One of them is going to be a, a band workshop in October 2020. It's for uh, four people. I have like, you know, kind of planned that out to do my first actual workshop. And I'm excited about that already. I have one uh, one one spot sold so there's three spots left if you're interested I'm gonna put a link for it in the description of this video you can go over to my website you can learn more about it it's for five days we go take pictures you know tour around and it includes hotel and transportation so you know the usual deal you know the stuff but I'm excited to do that and the second thing I'm excited about is I'm kind of be opening I just got the keys for a for a galley that I'm gonna be opening full time for at least you know try it for the for a year and see how it goes and if it all goes well i'll just keep doing it i'm excited to have kind of a permanent location to exhibit my work and this is actually it will help me even more to kind of shoot with a even bigger purpose because i know the pictures that i'm gonna shoot are gonna be printed hang on a wall and sold to people and they can come see it in person which for me is always much enjoyable than than the online experience and I've kind of always felt always envisioned to have a place like that where I can do workshops from I can do gallery showing I can do events where I can you know show the pictures and have people come over so I'm excited about that those are, those are like the two projects coming in 2020 for now but I'm sure I'm gonna be super busy moving forward so yeah Still waiting for the light here. Nothing's so far happening right now, but hopefully soon. I'm gonna work on kind of perfecting my composition here to make sure that when the moment comes that the light project on those peaks, I'm ready to take pictures. <sighs> It's just beautiful up here though. Oh man, despite the conditions pre being pretty challenging, I kind of moved a little bit to my right here and set up my camera because there's some nice snow drift, just different patterns in the snow that seems kind of interesting to take a picture of while I'm here. So I'm gonna grab this shot and then I think it's time to head back to the car because I'm just really cold all over. I need to warm up and I don't think the, the light is gonna get any better this is kind of the the nicer light is gone now it's still really nice but eventually it's gonna be too too harsh so i'm gonna grab this shot here and even though in this kind of weather it's kind of crazy but the camera seems to be holding up really really well which is kind of surprising but the video camera is kind of acting up but that's what you get in minus 30 minus 40 weather <laughs> all right let me get this picture real quick what I'm doing is I'm doing a focus stack picture of the one on the distance and one for the foreground because I want to get the snow drift here to be nice and sharp, you know. Well, this is the most that I can take, so I'm gonna pack up here and head back to the car and warm up. <laughs> Whew, it was still fun though, I think I got some two really nice pictures here and it's kind of worth it I think coming here this morning despite being this cold. And it's funny because they said it's gonna get warmer today. You know, today is my second day here and it hasn't got any warmer, I feel like it got colder actually. So, gonna pack up head to the car and uh, thank you guys for coming along 
I don't know if there's gonna be any more videos from here. I kind of came to just check it out. Came here with my nephew, spent some time with him, kind of show him around. It's his first time here, so I'm more focusing on just kind of, you know, just taking it easy, having some fun. I did take some pictures pretty much every day, obviously, but I haven't made any videos of it. This is the only place I made a video because I felt like it was kind of worthwhile showing because it is different conditions from what I usually shoot. So I decided to kind of make a video and share that with you. So I hope in a way you kind of enjoyed it, even though it was kind of all over the place. But I do apologize for that because the conditions are just really challenging to take pictures and make a video. You know, I don't know if you can probably <laughs> tell that it's uh, pretty intense. Yeah, but uh, still really, really fun. So I'm gonna gonna pack up and stop talking. <laughs> All right, see you guys next time. Thanks for coming along. Whew.